Hello, this is Bill Merkless from BrainMaster Technology. Today, we're going to run through the instructions on how to run a Z-score training on the Discovery 24E. What we'll look at is how do we create a folder, choose a settings file, and run the session. In entering it as a new client and bringing in a new settings file. First step, folder selections. Let's go ahead and upper right hand corner create new folder we'll name this one we'll stick with the build test we'll call this Z score training okay we'll hit use name for ID okay okay one more time and then it's going to ask us what settings file would we like in here well to start because it's a z-score and these are alphabetically listed let's scroll to the bottom to see what's available well what I'd like to do for this particular protocol is I'd like to go ahead and just start with the simple z-score using percent z okay I highlight I hit okay now what it's done is it's dumping into the it's dumped those settings into the folder. But what we notice is we do not see our new trainee ID listed. So what to get that listed, go ahead and click on the little refresh button. As we clicked on this refresh button, you see that it then did pull up the new folder that was chosen. Our next step is to simply go to viewer chain settings. As we go to viewer change settings, there's several different changes we're going to want to make on this particular protocol. Our first step, data channels. When we go to data channels, our first option that we have to make a decision on is the number of channels we plan to train. Well, with Z-score training, the most common number is going to be four, and that's what we're going to use for today's exercise. As we go through some of these other options, they're all fine with their defaults. I'm going to leave the notch filters on simply because we do not have a client hooked up and we're going to be running simulation. But if you're actually training a client, make sure these are off so you know you have a good sig signal that you're dealing with. Our next step is as we scroll to the bottom here, we see electrodes and trainee info in the center bottom area. As I click on that, I get another box appears. This is where you're going to choose the sites the age and the eye condition of your client. So as I look here, it's a good place to start. I see a C3, C4, P3, P4 protocol. But if we wanted to make changes, we could simply hit the drop down and find the 1020 site that we're training on. Be aware with Z-score training that you have to pick an active 1020 site. You can't use any of the 1010 sites. They're not active in the database. It must be a standard 1020 placement. As we scroll down lower in the window, we see an, at, an option for age. Whatever the age of the client is, you're going to want to put that in there. Having this age incorrect could be detrimental training-wise because the database being accessed wouldn't match the client in the chair. We also want to make sure their eyes are in the condition that they will be for training, usually an eyes open scenario. There is eyes closed training available, but you just don't want to have the wrong database again with the wrong eye condition. So always verify that that is correct. After we've made our decisions, we always go to the next step with the OK. If we hit the red X up at the upper right hand corner, that means whatever changes I made do not save. So we tend to want to use the OK button. So I click OK takes me back to data channels. I verify again I have no mistakes. It's everything's what I want it to be. I say OK. Now it takes me back to our setup options. As I go down the list here, everything's pretty much what I want it to be. Uh, you see our we have no goes or stops within the training protocol because again the Z-score protocol is all based from the event wizard. We have sounds, event sounds, but under session control, we have some decisions to make. As I click on session control, I see a window up here that's going to talk about the length of the session and the number of sessions we'll run for this client. First off, in the upper left-hand corner, 
where it says baseline length, I like that baseline to at least be 30 seconds pre and post. This is so you have a rested state, there's no feedback, the client can settle down, get ready to train. Okay. As we move to the right of that, we see run length. Now think of run length just as a segment to break the session down for review purposes. So what I like to use there is I like to use 120 seconds, but this again is personal preference. So the run length is going to be two minutes. So when we drop down below that, slightly below, we see number of runs or number of trials. Let's say we use 10 there. So as we look at this particular session with our baseline of 30 seconds, our two minute runs and 10 of them, and then again a post baseline of 30 seconds, this complete session is 21 minutes. Again, 20 minutes of training, one minute of pre and post baseline, meaning 30 seconds of each. Number of sessions, here, I like a lower number here, I like to use six. And that's just meaning that you're gonna definitely take a look at the review session results prior to giving the next six sessions to this client. If you put the number of 40 in there, oftentimes it may go too long till you just determine that maybe this protocol needs a little tweaking or changing. For this particular exercise, we're gonna use simulation in the lower left hand corner because I am not planning to actually put electrodes on somebody's head. I just want to take a look at the protocol, see that it's functioning on the screen, have just a random noise signal pumped in that I can still filter and make it look reasonable for EEG so I can test my feedback, maybe change some sounds, do things like that. So I have it on simulation. When you're actually training a client, of course it needs to be on training. Okay. Again, we hit OK. And at this point, we, we've created a settings file for this client and they're ready to do their Z-score training. So we always move to the next screen with use these settings.